Just to make a small video going over some things that uh, uh, either we have we are doing right or we're not doing right to, right to, to uh, retain drivers and uh, attain drivers. One of the things is driver pay. Take it seriously. Don't ever make a driver think that you're not taking his pay seriously. If you do, you're probably going to lose him. Uh, uh, back in uh, back when we swapped over from Jones over to TI and I and that fiasco that that uh, that was made, I almost quit. Uh, don't mess with the driver's pay. Second thing is driver respect. Don't make a driver think that he's being patronized. Don't make a driver think that he's wasting your time or interrupting you. Uh, polishing your fingernails or anything like that. And there have been times I felt like that. Third thing is make it worth the driver, worth 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 for him to stay. Uh, we have a, an impressive fuel discount. Uh, keep keep that discount growing. Uh, have a plan to bail out a driver if his engine blows. That's happened to me. I called in. The response I got was was a total zero. Nobody knew how to handle the problem. They have policies in place for that stuff. Uh, reward a driver for longevity. I've been on here with the company for 15 years. I've got a lot to add to the pool. Uh, you have a driver that needs help? He can call me. I can help him out. Uh, and I'm willing to do it. Uh, I've, uh, it's also a great marketing tool. 50% uh, of our drivers at Jones Motor or TI and I have been on the company for 15 years. That's going to help you get drivers. Uh, I don't think I should be at 73% of the gross right now. I think I should be closer to 80. So uh, try to keep that in mind. Uh, remember, uh, understand your competition. Your competition is in the trucking company down the road right now. Your your trucking or your competition right now is drivers getting their own authority. Uh, there, every driver that I know personally who has gotten their own authority has wished they had done it earlier. They talk, they try to talk me into doing it. Okay, right now I have no interest in it, but they try to talk me into it. Okay. They're making a ton more money. And, ba and, and to be quite frank with you, when I do the math on how much the load that I hauled pays you and pays me and how much more I can make if I had all that money, uh, it's, it's an attractive option, okay? So keep that in mind that you're going to have to figure out a way to sell the idea of not getting your own authority. Some, some guys just can't handle it. Some guys shouldn't have their own authority. But a lot of your old timers can have it and probably should. So just keep that in mind. Uh, another thing is uh, don't play the spot market. Find your own customers. One of the things that's made me angry over the years I've been with Jones, probably the last five or six, is you're playing the spot market. I can get on the internet and I can find my own freight. Why do I need some guy in Alabama to do it? Okay, so if you're going to play the spot market, then give us the code for internet truck stop and let us find our own loads and develop our own relationships with brokers instead of having your dispatch services doing it. That's really aggravating because you know, I've also seen our freight posted on Internet Truck Stop where, I, where it wasn't posted on our website. There's a lot of funny stuff going on and I've caught. I'm not going to get into that so I don't have enough time. But don't play this part. Find your own customers. Another thing too is get the agents to work together. You got an agent in Chicago that can send trucks east you got an agent in Ohio that can send trucks west. Why not get those guys to work together? Uh, I've tried working that out. I had an agent in Ohio. I kept sending them into Chicago, and Chicago sent me back to Ohio. Okay? I tried to get those guys talking to each other. They would not talk to each other. They had no interest in talking to each other. Had, uh, there's there's uh, agents in Pittsburgh had no interest in talking to the agent in Chicago and developing some sort of push-pull to get drivers back and forth. None of that. And there was absolutely no interest from the company leadership to get that to happen either. That, 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 I can't explain that, but maybe you can. Uh, another thing, the last thing is, I think the time that I've got here is uh, try to find dedicated freight. I'm not with Jones Motor because of dedicated freight. My first job with Jones Motor was doing GM, uh, Lordstown up to Minnesota and back. And uh, it, it didn't pay much. didn't really matter. It was dedicated. I knew what I was doing every day in whole nine yards. If you can find more dedicated freight, you're going to find more drivers. Okay, so uh, outside of that, that's 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 all I've got. Those are probably the main points. I could talk for probably half an hour on this. So I've only got 15 seconds to left to, left to talk to you. So I wish the company well. I have no plans of leaving, and uh, I plan on staying here. If there's any any help that I can offer, uh, be sure to let me know. Be willing to help out. Have a nice day.